Hello everybody, this is your tour guide, Ira, uh, here again, and I want to get to the point. Uh, there's two things on today's unique agenda. Uh, one is to um, go over the restaurant project. Uh, now, in terms of deadlines and uh, all of that, uh, I'm going to leave that to the handout. Uh, people should feel free to ask me questions. Um, uh, you could even ask me questions at the Zoom conference. But right now, I want to talk distinctly about the restaurant project. Um, maybe we could try having a look together real quickly at a couple of the uh, projects of the past. So here we are at the second page of the handout, actually. And let's see what we could do. So here we've got a one-page project, which is really what I'm asking for, just very elegantly done. You know, obviously part of the drama is um, a, a well-designed background uh, with a, a palette that only goes from mid-tone to black. So all these things in front of it um, kind of pop out. I have to say, other than the prices, which kind of disappear, still, I think it's beautiful. Notice one, two, three columns, and it looks like one, two, three, four, five rows. So she really figured it all out right here. Here is one, two, three columns. And if you look at this row, remember, the rows go this way. They're horizontal. The row has one uh, div for the name and the explanation in it, and next to it, is the second div for the photo and last is um, the price and the pattern just repeats so this was the initial idea this stuff looks like it's outside of the grid anyway pretty cool all right let's take a quick peek at another one this is very very simple and uh, i have a lot of respect for it it's kind of like a, a tumbleweeds in the desert kind of vibe even on that clean white background um, still, the use of the columns is very, very clear. Again, one, two, three columns. In this case, three rows. These elements could be either outside of the grid entirely, this before it, this after, or um, they could be inside of a row that's been spanning. Remember, one, two, three columns. This might just span across three columns. But if you could imagine a grid overlaid here, you're off the ground. All right, let's take a, we got a peek at this one last week, so I don't want to say too much more. It looks like here we're having some strange problem today. There we go. I don't know what was, what was causing that. But it's very simple. In this case, you could definitely tell that there's, uh, the rows are easy to count. You know, one, two, three, four. They're making me hungry. Uh, but it's two columns. I want to point out even this is considered two columns. It's just two columns wide. It's not one column wide. It's two columns wide. Or we say it spans. Okay, all right. I would like to start talking about how one begins. Okay, I want to talk a little bit about how one imagines uh, their websites before they actually get started. Um, here I've got uh, the equivalent uh, uh, of a computer monitor or at least a computer screen and I'm imagining not so much the entire website uh, on the table here, I, I'm imagining just sort of the menu section. So here is um, going to be my grid container One thing I want to point out is I could control the width. And I am thinking right now that I'm going to go with 960 pixels because uh, people with small monitors, they'll see it. Um, they'll just happen to see uh, the, a kind of fairly large margin on both sides. So I like the idea that I could control the grid container uh, by telling it how wide to be. 
All right. One of our missions is to figure out how many columns and how many rows we need. And I'm going to start imagining what I might require. Maybe I want to put uh, food over here and uh, give it a kind of featured photo. And beside it, perhaps I want some text about the food, of course, and maybe with the name of the food. Uh, beside it, um, conceivably, it's price. <laughs> now, if that idea works for me, then the next rows are likely to be the same. And on. And on. The thing about it is we know what the grid container is. And right now that's containing us in this width. But we are also going to have to get to know some other terms. So I want to remind everybody from last time I saw you that running horizontally here, we've got rows. Thing is, these, and I'm getting a little crowded in here, are columns. You just have to remember here, we happen to have a three column layout. And I could keep on um, making more and more rows if I want to, because this is the basic layout right here, isn't it? And I just keep repeating this one over and over again on the way down. All right, if we actually wanted to make this, it's no big deal. The thing that you might want to do later is come into uh, some rows for any particular purpose and tell them to span. And that way I could have some kind of large um, statement in here that breaks the grid, uh, at least breaks the monotony of the grid. And if I want, I could just keep going. So what I'm trying to say is if you look at this grid over here, what we wind up seeing is actually uh, a controlled box that we call grid container. And this box is like a chart in a weird way that at first establishes how many columns. And that stays true all the way through, even, even here where, where it says desserts, uh, where it spans. The idea is that it's columns. And as you add items to it, you start figuring out how many rows you need. Now each row follows the rules though. If this was about three columns, then on and on it's going to go. I just want to point out that this is this. It's the code that's going to come over here and actually allow us to span. And I could do that anywhere that I want. I want to point something out about spans. At some point, we're going to come over here and we want to note that uh, there are these lines called column lines. And even though I've got three columns, the outsides count. So this is the first column line right here. This one is the second column line the third column line. If I'm going to span something, I'm going to actually tell it to span from one to four. So that's going to be important later, spanning. And we're going to do that with column lines.